What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so to what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I'm headed out to CES, which is in Las Vegas uh, today. And then it starts It's like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, and I'll be there definitely probably from Tuesday till Thursday, maybe Friday, but definitely till Thursday. Uh, and so if there's something you want me to check out or see, let me know in the comments down below. I'll try to do it. It's such a huge event and uh, it's really big and it takes a long time to go through everything. But uh, I don't know, give me some ideas. Maybe there's something I can check out uh, that's really cool that I'm not even thinking about. So there we go, there we go guys, let's get into the news. The first story of the day is Android Q, which would be the next uh, big Android release coming out. And it's rumored, at least based off a post, that it could have the whole dark mode, like everything in it would be dark mode. Now, it's in a post on the Chromium bug tracker that Android Police has on their website. It says, dark mode is an approved Q feature. The QT wants to ensure that all preloaded apps support dark mode natively. In order to ship dark mode successfully, we need all UI elements to be ideally themed dark by May of 2019. Now, a lot of apps are already allowing for dark mode, which is amazing. I love it. It's easier on the eyes. It's easier to read. And, you know, Samsung already has it built into a lot of their themes right now. And Google, regular Google phones don't have uh, dark themes because they just have whatever Google gives you. But this is great news for all phones that will run Android Q to be able to have dark mode built right into them. And the last story of the day, it wasn't a big news day, unfortunately, because I'm doing this video so early because I'm going to Vegas. And that is that Sprint has announced that their Samsung 5G phone, most likely the Galaxy S10, will be coming out in spring of 2019. Now their 5G network will go live in Atlanta, Chicago, Dallas, Houston, Kansas City, Los Angeles, New York City, Phoenix, and Washington DC later this year. The phone itself will have dual mode connectivity to their LTE and 5G networks, meaning that connectivity over the 2.5 gigahertz spectrum and 1.9 gigahertz spectrum band 25, 800 megahertz spectrum band 26, and other LTE bands. Now I hope the takeaway from this is that the 5G phone won't come out four, five, six months later than the regular Galaxy S10. I'm hoping it's just the Sprint version because Sprint's 5G network isn't fully ready. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe it's another Samsung phone. I highly doubt it. I really think it's gonna be the Galaxy S10. It's gotta be. I mean, it's the next biggest phone coming out by Samsung. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My question of the day is, what are you most excited about at CES? Kinda of goes back to my original thing. My dog's barking. He's excited. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you down the road. Peace!